Hello again, good afternoon to you. Welcome to business. My government has been giving some details on what went into the choice of a direct negotiation agreement between Ghana and international oil exploration giant ExxonMobil. This follows criticisms by some civil society groups on why government did not open the oil block it extended to ExxonMobil into a competitive public tender. There's more in this business desk report. According to government, it took the decision not to open the Deepwater Cave three-point block to public tender because the nature of the area required an oil exploration firm that has the most sophisticated technology and financial muscle to prospect for oil in commercial quantities. This was after two other global firms had some challenges in exploring for oil because of the nature of the deep water Cape Three Points block. The Energy Ministry in the public notice added that the current oil fields like Jubilee, Ten and Sankofa entering decline stage in the near future. There's the need to explore other fields by a global giant like ExxonMobil. The notice also confirmed earlier report by Joy Business and negations for this oil block started in April 2015. However, negotiations were abandoned due to challenges by ExxonMobil in securing some waivers. The global oil giant is expected to sign an oil exploration agreement with government this Thursday. Meanwhile, Director of Special Services at the Petroleum Commission, Kweku Boatin, tells Joy Business even though he would not give the fine details of the deal, it is better than previous agreements. Seeing that agreement had not been approved by Parliament and Cabinet, I just don't to indicate it. It could, it could be changed. So, um, as an as just a draft agreement, which is yet to be executed, it's not being re-signed. So, I mean, things could change, so I just don't want to, I mean, speculate. Right, so the fiscal terms are better. Um, since it's not a final agreement, I just don't want to disclose mm. the detailed terms. I'm saying it could change. So, uh, let's wait for the agreement to be um, executed, um, which is going to be done shortly. And in another development, the Petroleum Commission has hinted that the country's maiden hydrocarbon development, the salt pond oil field, will not be decommissioned as suggested by some experts. The Public Interest Accountability Committee uh, and also some people in their 2016 report has been urging government to expedite action on the planned decommission of the salt pond oil field offshore Cape, Cape Coast in the central region. The field is said to have reached its economic limits and no more productive. But Director of Special Services at the Petroleum Commission, Kweku Bwating, in an interview with Joy Business, said some companies have indicated their readiness to do further exploratory activities with modern enhanced technology. Bring you details of this particular report and also some more analysis on this current uh, excellent mobile deal agreement shortly on the marketplace. My name is Imano Apwaji Riafi. Up next is Paul.